Good morning. This is Clara. A question for you guys: If you get this kind of mark, what to do? Please leave your comment below and share your valuable experience with us. In this video, I will share some practical advices that I think it will be helping to fix that. If you are first time being here, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give me a like. And if you want to join the membership, click join below. Let's get started. This mark usually appears at the end cutting when the cutting head completes the final cutting and the part falls. The laser beam hits the surface of the part and causes this burn mark. We can try to optimize it in four ways. First, we can try to enable the slow stop. To see whether it's getting better. Without changing any data, the comparison of the effects of adding and not adding the slow stop is here. Second, we can add lead out to see whether it's getting better. It should be noted that if the common edge is checked during nesting, the lead out process will not be retained when the common edge is finely cut and burn marks may still appear. We can try other methods. Without changing any data, the comparison of the effects of adding and not adding the lead out is here. Third, we can also consider using a gap process at the end. Fourth, we can try to adjust the power curve. For example, when the cutting speed is low, the power can be appropriately reduced. Do you get it? Please let me know if a methods work for you. Thanks for watching. Last step, check the link below and stick around at our shop. You may find what you need. See you. Bye.